bed made. And yeah, happy Monday, you guys. I had an amazing Mother's Day weekend. I hope all you mommies out there and daddies that had to step up and be a mom or take the role of mom and dad. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, you guys, and this weather's not helping. Yesterday, um, Mother's Day, about 11 o'clock, it started storming, and it rained all day long. And then it was still pouring this morning around 6. Um, it's now 7.30, and it's pretty much stopped right now, but it's supposed to start up again and literally rain all day again. So yeah, it's supposed to rain like all week. Oh, but us here in Florida, we really need the rain, so I'm not complaining. It just makes me so tired. I haven't even done my makeup or anything yet today, and I probably won't, to be honest. I probably will just, like, fix my eyebrows or something and my hair, but I don't think I'm going to go full out and do my makeup today. Because it's just a crummy day, huh, Cal Cal? My baby girl. I just started editing up my weekend vlog. I'm waiting for um, my phone to finish transferring to the computer so I can take the videos from my phone and add them into the vlog. Hi, Midnight. Um, and then I have to edit and upload my BoxyCharm video. I got that on Saturday, my BoxyCharm. So I did a video the second I got it to get that out of the way. So yeah, today's kind of just going to be a bummy, chill day of editing and uploading. So I think I'm just going to do like a follow me around kind of thing today. We'll see. Um... I got a headache. Does anybody else, when it rains, gets a headache? I definitely do. Every time it rains. Oh my goodness, I can't stop yawning. I'm so tired. Um, Every time it rains, I get a headache. So I don't know. We'll see what happens today. We'll see what kind of footage we get. Like I said, I could literally just go to sleep right now. But I know I can't. I need to get stuff done. Um, I need to clean up the house. I need to do a load of laundry. I might start um, putting together our stuff for the trip this weekend. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to do like a follow me around kind of vlog today. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Look at these two. They're so cute. What are you doing, Midnight? Cow Cow! Kelly! Kelly! Kitty 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 There she is! There's the pretty girl! Everybody is so lazy in this house today. So tired.
temporary I know we fighting, it gets kinda scary Our commitment, it could never scare me You've got some weight that you should let me carry, yeah Remember when we were so close Right beside me, then you walked away Baby, you were a stone's throw Just tell me what you want me to say temporary I know we fighting it gets kind of scary our commitment it could never scare me you've got some weight that you should let me carry yeah remember when we were so close right beside me then you walked away baby you were a stone's throw just tell me what you want me to say but now you're just stone to be using some of the BoxyCharm products and letting you guys know my opinions on them. Some are good, some are not so good. Um, but yeah, let's just start. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Cover Up X Blurring Primer and I have used this twice since I got my BoxyCharm box and I actually love it. It is so good. I love it. But actually, wait, before I do that, I always like to tone my face before um, I put my makeup or anything on my face. Especially if I've been doing stuff like I have been today, my face just feels dirty. And the toner that I use is the Rodin and Fields Unblemished Clarifying Toner. Okay, 
Now it's time for primer. I'm freezing. I don't know why I'm so cold, but I am. And it looks like this. But it's so small, or what? I don't even know what I just said. It's so soft, and it just feels so good. I do find it hard to squeeze out of this tube, though. I love it, though. I love the way it feels. Ugh. Okay, so that was the cover of X, um blurring primer that we got in our boxy charm and like I said I do love this primer um, next I'm going to use my holy grail foundation which is the um, Bajoris Paris healthy mix serum and it's more like a gel and I'm going to add some of my Maybelline Superstay just like a pump and a half and I mix the two together. And here we go. But it is amazing, you guys, how um, dark my body is, except for my face and my neck and, like, my chest. But, like... I am so dark everywhere else and I think it's just because like I never not wear makeup like even if we're going in the pool if we're out swimming um, if I'm out just sun tanning I always wear makeup on my face because I really don't want my face to get sunburned and I'm not a sunscreen person so I just wear makeup to protect my face from the sun and yeah so then everything ends up super white while the rest of my body is dark but it's okay it's just more foundation and dragging down that I have to do Dryer's done. Okay, and while that sets a little bit, I'm going to start doing the eyebrows. Right? That's what I'm going to start with? Yes. The eyebrows. And I'm going to use the um, It Cosmetics Brow Power, and I don't know what shade this is. Universal Taupe. So it's still super gloomy out. I watched because I'm a child at heart. I did all my laundry and packing and stuff for this weekend. Um, I watched Shrek. Right now I have Moana on, but I haven't paused. Sometimes when it's like rainy and gloomy, I either like to. Um, start shows from like the first season and kind of like binge watch my face switches um or I like to watch Disney movies so 
Something about Disney movies on a rainy day. So good. Um, last night I watched The Greatest Showman for the first time. And I, I'm not even kidding. I cried so many times. Um, that movie was so good. I didn't think it was going to be that good. But it is that good. I'm telling you guys, greatest movie ever. And the soundtrack, phenomenal. But if you have like a surround sound and stuff like that, I highly suggest. Or like a sound bar. I highly suggest watching a movie like that. Um, that's how we watched it, and it was just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, I don't think it would have been as good if we were just using, like, the TV speakers. Whatever. My eyebrows don't have to be perfect. I'm not going anywhere today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my Holy Grail Airspun. And just dip and start pouncing. Hello. So I hope everybody had a um, great Mother's Day. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier or not in this vlog, but um, mine was so relaxing and good. Um, we went bike riding, we watched movies, we went to my mom's and grandma's, um, we had like a mini photo shoot, um, what else did we do? That's pretty much it, like we just chilled. And then, like I said, I'm glad Saturday we did, like, our bike riding and our outside stuff. Because, man, all day yesterday, it just rained all day. All day it rained. Okay, so that's done. I feel like there's a hair somewhere. That's what I keep feeling. I don't know. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I kind of hope that powder set and melt. Oh, I got it all in my mouth. And I'm just going to pounce some more. Tomorrow, um, with my daughter's school field trip, and me and my mom are chaperoning for that. Super nervous, but excited at the same time. Okay, so, we got in our BoxyCharm box, we got this pure, um, sculptor highlight and contour palette. Now, I used it... Was it yesterday? And I'm telling you, it smells kind of like chocolate. Or like cocoa or something like that. Um, but I used this, this color, this lighter shade. Was it Saturday or Sunday? I think it was yesterday, actually. And it was so patchy and so gross. I hated it. Um, I'm going to go in and try with try it again and see what happens, but I hated it. See? You see that? Hate it. And it's just streaky and it's so horrible. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but, and it's gray and nasty and I just fudged up my whole face because of this. Ugh. So, these I hate. I don't know what it is. Um, if anybody else had the same problem, let me know. Or if I'm just doing something wrong. Um, but I hate them. Highlighters, 
I love them and I will show you what they look like in a second. But these freaking things, they, I'm so mad. I'm so disappointed. So as always, going back to my physician's formula, butter bronzer because unlike all these other things, it never lets me down. Ever. It's my all time favorite bronzer in the whole wide world. Love it. Okay, um, we didn't get a blush, so I'll use my own. And I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. And this is in the shade Plum Rose. Very light. Um, but I like it on natural days. Well, not natural because I'm never natural. But you get the point. Not so bam in your face. And I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the, the highlighters in this palette I love. Um, but I'm going to try using the brush that came in our boxy charm, and I'm going to try to use it with the highlights because the um, contours, in my opinion, suck. Um, but um, I always do highlight with a damp beauty blender. It completely transforms your highlight, so if you haven't tried that yet, I highly suggest you try with your damp beauty blender. Just dipping it in. It just, I don't know, it makes it so much prettier. But, we're going to go ahead and try this. Brush and see what happens. Okay, so the brush isn't terrible. I don't typically use brushes like this. Um, I like more dense brushes and this is not very dense. Um, this might actually be cute for blush. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do what I always do. With my beauty blender. I don't know. I was playing around one day and I decided to stick my beauty blender in it and I just loved the way it looked versus using a brush and you can really like pinpoint it where you want it versus a brush it kind of will disperse it everywhere versus when you just use this you can really uh, make it precise but that is how I feel about this palette that came in our BoxyCharm um moving on to the eyes, I really don't want to use eyeliner today, but I guess I will so I can show you, but this is the eyeliner, I've, they're the gel eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar that we got in our BoxyCharm, love it, I absolutely love it, I used it yesterday, fell in love with it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be my go-to eyeliner, and I used the brush that came in our BoxyCharm as well, and I just love it. Um, I don't even know where my mind's at right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. <laughs> my mind's all over the place. And my everyday eye look, I use the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I use um, this one, this one, and this one. These three are pretty much my daily um, eyeshadows. Like an everyday eyeshadow look. This is what I use. And then I'll just go in with this one. Mix it in. And I just use a big fluffy brush and blend it all together and as easy as that eyes are done um, I'm not gonna put anything under my brow bones cuz like I said I'm not going anywhere I'm not trying to waste stuff um, eyeliner 
I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this because I get up close to the mirror, but I'll try, or I will try. And I am not doing a wing liner today. Just trying to keep everything simple. But I freaking, I love this gel eyeliner. It just glides right on. It's so smooth. Packaging is beautiful. They want to do a wing liner so bad. But I really don't want to. So we're just going to leave it like that. And I was out in the rain and everything yesterday. Nothing smeared. It was on all day. So this eyeliner gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Love it, love it, love it. Put its protector thing back on. So. That won't even fit in my drawer. Um, this lipstick, this liquid lip um, matte lip gloss. Okay, so the story with this, when I did my unboxing video, I put it on my hand. At the end of the night, I had to scrub it off my hands. Mind you, I cleaned my house all day. Um, we rode bikes. Um, I did the dishes three times that day. Um, so my hand was in water a ton. I also washed my daughter in the shower. And I've washed my hands throughout the day. The swatch didn't budge. I went like this and showed my husband. You know, I lived my day-to-day -day life. And it never, ever, ever came off my hand. So I was like, ooh, this is going to be so good. So Mother's Day, I put it on my lips. And we did our pictures. So... It was about 10 minutes and it was starting to flake right here it was starting to flake and get very dry and gross feeling so this is one of those I don't know if I'm gonna try and do it another day with like chapstick underneath it or something and to see if that works but as far as by itself hell no it don't last that long um, so, once I do that, I'll let you guys know if it made a difference, but I don't know. I didn't like it. I hated it. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyelashes. I don't have to curl my eyelashes. My, ashes, my eyelashes are already curled. And I'm using the Tarte Tardis mascara that I believe we got in a BoxyCharm. And I fell in love with it. Okay, so I'm noticing something with the eyeliner that I didn't notice yesterday, and I think it was because I had, um, like a smoky eye on yesterday and I had dark colors um, 
but so I didn't really notice it at all but it's kind of transferring up in my crease right now the eyeliner is Oh, and I might be getting questions, so I'm going to go ahead and answer it now. No, I do not prime my eyelids. If I do like a cut crease, I will put concealer on, but I don't prime my eyelids. The only primer that I use is this, and I do put it on my face, um, and I have foundation on my eyelids, but I don't have like an eyeshadow primer. Um, and then I go in, because I never use one mascara ever, because I'm just extra like that. I use the um, Voluminous Lash Paradise by Laura or L'Oreal or L'Oreal. I think that's how you say it. But I don't like how it's transferring like that so and then I wipe off my lips and I just use the same piece that has the toner on it and I put on chapstick I pretty much don't wear anything that chapstick if I'm just sitting around the house. But um, if I don't have chapstick on, I always have on ColourPop um, and the color strip. I always have that on. If it's not chapstick, it is that. So yeah, that's what I do on a daily basis. And this is what I look like when I'm not going to leave the house. My hair is crazy. But laundry's done. Packing is somewhat done. Here, let me show you guys what I have packed. Okay, so far this is what I have. Okay, so this bag right here. Oh, uh, where's my finger? Okay, that bag right there is all um, mine, my husband's, and my daughter's clothes. My stepson, he will, he has his own duffel bag, and he will pack his own clothes. Um, I just put all ours together because my daughter's clothes are in my room and then my husband's are in our room and mine are in our room. So it's just easier like that. Um, all the shoes because you know us girls always have to have numerous pairs of shoes. Her beach bucket. Um, my camera bag. And then this bag is her stuff to do in the truck while we drive there. It's about like a three and a half hour drive. This is my purse that I'm going to be using. And then I have this bag that's got our towels, um, sunscreen, sun tanning lotion, pads. It'll have all our hair stuff, body wash, shower stuff, makeup, etc. will all be in this bag. And then this backpack is my stuff to do in the car because I'm a child and I will get bored. But yeah, that's what I have so far. And this is my list. So I have a, quite a bit of stuff crossed off, but I still have a lot left, but it's pretty much everything that I can't do until, um, like the night before. So that's what's left. I have been, nope, not that. I've been editing my vlog for Mother's Day weekend. Hello. Okay, so like I was saying before, my husband just called. I am uh, editing my Mother's Day weekend vlog, and I've been waiting for my video from my phone to transfer onto my drive, so then I can add it to... my OneDrive, but I don't know. I don't understand 
Why? Why it's paused? Why are you paused? Really, you guys? It's been three hours, and it's only that far. So this vlog is going to take me all day. And it needs to be uploaded. Um, today. This is my video for today, and it's taking flipping forever. And I don't know, because I've never tried it before. I might try it once my um, breakfast is, not my breakfast, my lunch is done. Um, because I wonder if I save it so I can upload or start editing my BoxyCharm one. And then I'll just, depending on how long this takes, I might just upload my BoxyCharm unboxing video today. But, I don't know. Oh my gosh, you guys, so... I already ate some of it, but for Mother's Day, my mom went to Norman Love, and she got me this, and they're like heart cakes, like mini, oh my gosh, you guys, it is not focusing, um, but, like, we have hazelnut coffee, strawberry shortcake, carrot cake, peanut butter marshmallow, and cookies and cream cheesecake. And they look like this. How stinking cute are these? Those are so super duper cute. So, I got those from my mom. I got this from my mom, and it is... Um... Hazelnut bar. I got this, which is a crackle pop milk chocolate crispy rice and pop rocks. And then I got these chocolate malt balls. And then I got this cute um, like a mousse pop. And I had another one. And clearly ate that. That needs to go in the garbage. And then I also had a stick like... It was a stick like this. And it had love written in chocolate. And it was like a big stick like this. I already ate that too. But that's what my mom got me. And then... Uh, my grandma got me a card with a beautiful letter in it. <coughs> Excuse me. She got me a card with a beautiful letter in it. And... Um, a Visa gift card. My husband got me curtains, a rug for my room, a rug for my bathroom, um, the curtains, like I said, flowers, um, my bike, lights for my bike, um, camera batteries, um, what else was there? Hmm. I'm shooting a blank right now. But he got me tons of stuff. My um, daughter made me that cake at, made me a cake at school that is shown in my Mother's Day vlog that I'm editing now. Um, and then um, other than that, um, what else did she get me? Oh, she got me a card. She made me a bracelet. Um the boys' mom got me some flowers and a Starbucks coffee drink. So yeah, I had a pretty good Mother's Day. Um, yeah, so let's go finish making my lunch because I'm hungry and I'm making my noodles. So the water's boiled. Water is boiling. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I like to break my ramen noodles in half. It makes less of a mess when you're eating it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm making lunch. I think the clothes and the dryer might be, or the blankets and the dryer might. Be. We're gonna start them for a little bit longer.
But yeah, so I'm going to finish making my ramen noodles and then I will see you guys back in my bedroom so we can figure out if I can save that and start editing the boxy charm. See you guys in a bit. So I want to show you guys my nails. This is, um, these are the Kiss Everlasting um, glue on nails. These are the only nails that I ever use and you have to get the ones with the pink gel. The ones with the pink gel glue um, last like two weeks or so. Um, but these are the only types of nails I do. I do not go to a salon and pay to get my nails done when I can get them done for under like six bucks. Um, but I got OPI, I think it's Bubble Bath. And it's just a very pretty like pink color. But it's so gloomy out. And there's dirty plate from my daughter last night that needs to go in the dishwasher. But I don't know. I think it's super cute. These are the curtains that he got me. Don't mind. Our back porch is a mess. It's been storming. Um, but these are the curtains that he got me. Um, there's three of them. And they're like a sheer curtain. But I absolutely love them. I've been wanting to take down the... Um, what are they called? The blinds? For so long and put up curtains. So he got me those. And then he got me this rug. It's got something on it. Yeah, he got me that rug. And then he got me a rug in my bedroom, but we'll get to that when my food's done. This is the rug that he got me for my bedroom. So fluffy, and I love it. Now on to eating lunch and editing these videos. Back and forth, 
Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here. All your shots have scored. No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. Well, we fight and we fall and we rise through it all till we find what we want. Then we lose it all again. Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in. Just me, just you. Through this again, we fight. 